Hello, welcome to jQuery tutorial, chapter 43, jQuery scroll event, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn about jQuery scroll event and how to handle it using jQuery. So keep in mind the scroll event is triggered or raised when the user scrolls to a different place in the element. So let us understand the scroll event. So let me jump into Visual Studio and let me show you a demo there. Here I have a dual element and it is uh, it has some pro style set okay the styles are width and height of 200 pixel and the border 2 pixels solid black and apart from that we have one property which gives this dual element a scroll bar okay that is overflow scroll and apart from that we have this h3 element okay uh, this h3 element is having the styles like display none and color red now when i push this page to the browser only the dual element will be rendered the h3 element will not be rendered because of this property that is display none. So let me go back here. Here you can observe we have this do element and it has a scroll bar. Now keep in mind the scroll event is raised. Okay, whenever the scroll on the element is happened. So this is a do element and the L on the do element I'm just doing the scroll. So when the the scroll event will be triggered when the scroll on the element is happened. So now to confirm like when I scroll on this do element. Uh, is whether the scroll event is happening or not what I'll do is on the scroll this h3 element has to get appeared like the sense scroll event happened in the sense whenever I scroll on this do element I should get a message telling like scroll event handled okay or happened so how to do that it's very simple first I need to identify this do element with the ID target so I'm going to do that I'm going to identify an element with the ID the ID is target then apart from that then I need to call the CS and I need to call the scroll event. So on the scroll event, I need to call an anonymous function. What this function has to do is it has to identify that h3 element, then it has to make it visible and it has to fade out. So in order to do that, first thing what I need to do is first I need to identify that element directly with the tag name because I have not assigned any to it, any ID to it. So that's the reason I'm calling it with a tag name directly. Then I need to call a CSS method. Why? Because right now the display property value is set to none but on the scroll it should be visible so what I need to do is I need to tell like display so it should be visible in the inline manner inline and once it is visible okay it, sh it should just show like event is happening scroll event happened then it has to fade out so I'm calling fade out and that should happen for thousand milliseconds let me take thousand milliseconds let me end here now when I do control s now let me go back and let me refresh the page now you can observe now when I scroll here you can observe we are getting a message telling like scroll event happened and it is fading out now as soon as I scroll this do element you can observe we are getting like scroll event handled okay in the sense scroll event is triggered as soon as you scroll on the element okay this is what the scroll event is and we I showed a demo of, of scroll event with the help of this example now as soon as I scroll on this do element I should get this message telling like scroll event handled so I'm making use of the scroll event and I'm doing that work so apart from that scroll event we have other two methods that is scroll left and scroll top so what the scroll left is going to do it's going to get the current horizontal position of the scroll bar for the first element in the set of matched element or set the horizontal position of the scroll bar for every matched element so what I'll do is uh, just to save the time what I've done is I'm already having the code for that HTML uh, for the scroll left let me go and copy that it is present in my okay scroll dot text let me copy this the complete HTML and let me paste it here okay okay you can observe very clearly uh, what do I have here I'm having so I'm having a do element and a class demo and I'm having h1 element and let me add a content called lorem epsom okay apart from that what I do have is I've written a bit of styles to the do element which is having a class demo this one these are the styles and apart from that I have a paragraph the content so now let me push this page to the browser so it's already there let me scroll it 
let me refresh it so right now you can observe I have not used the scroll left so this scroll left bar it is at the extreme end of the left side on the left side of your web page so now I need to set this 300 pixel from the left in the sense it has to be here by default now as soon as I refresh by default the scroll bar below scroll bar that is left scroll bar it is lying to the extreme left but I need to set it at this position so how can I do that I can achieve that with the help of scroll left method so what I'll do is first let me write a bit of script before that let me add a style uh, JavaScript file jQuery file sorry and apart from that let me write, start writing my styles so what I'll do is first I'll going to verify whether my DOM is ready or not document dot ready so you're going I'm going to like call a function so and I'm going to tell like identify a uh, element okay with the class demo for sure and once you identify what you have to do is you have to scroll left okay by default the position of the scroll left bar will be okay will be to the extreme left but by I have to set it to extreme at the middle of this scroll bar that is 300 pixel from the uh, top sorry at the from the left so what I'll do right now is I'll go here and I'll set the value to 300 so when I do that what happens is you can observe here the default when I refresh okay you can observe okay now let me show you again now I'm going to just comment this line okay now when I go back and when I refresh you can observe the left scroll bar to the is at the extreme left of this element now I need to set it to this position so what I'll do is I'm going to tell like identify the div okay with this ID with this class then make this left bar the scroll left bar which is on the x-axis set to 300 pixel from the left so now if you can observe here it is at your now as soon as I refresh by default it will be from the 300 position from the left 300 pixel from the left so this is how you can go with the right uh, top also so what I'll do is you can observe here now as soon as I refresh okay this is at 300 pixel from the left but this one which is at the y-axis scroll bar it is at the top by extreme top but I, I but I need this scroll bar to be at 300 pixel from the top it should live 300 pixel from the top it should be at center so how do I achieve that I can achieve that with the help of another method that is scroll top I need to set it like 400 pixel I do control s now let me refresh and you can observe it is lying 400 pixel from here from the top it's lying 400 pixel this is how we can make use of these two methods that is scroll left and scroll top and the scroll event so what we understood from this session is like how, how the when the scroll event is raised and how to set the left scroll bar and the top scroll bar okay uh, from either from the default position you can set it to your own position like you can set it to the 300 pixel from the left and 200 pixel from the top this is how you can set it with the help of these two methods so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel Ankh Pro Training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference of our website we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day